What's going on, people? This is Jesse Bill from jessebill.com. So, what I want to talk about, man, is the idea of partnerships, strategic alliances, and teamwork. One of the things that we're missing as black men are are these ideas, right? Which are, are since are, they're essentially hunting parties. Most black men in America, we have such an individualistic mindset that is it is detrimental to us. Despite I don't know why we have this because we work so good as team at, on a team in terms of sports, but when it comes to the ultimate sport, business, when it comes to just everyday living, man, we, we really are just so bad at this, particularly, I mean, I can't speak for the other generations, but man, I know my, my generation, the millennial generation, man, we just bad at this, we're awful at it, right? And, you know, it's to our detriment. So we, when you talk about teamwork and strategic alliances and things of that nature, even when you look at the animal kingdom, like when you look at the animal kingdom, males of most, most male mammals don't do things by themselves. Most male mammals combine their efforts with other male mammals Per t and it's usually their brothers, right? It's usually their brothers. Usually the brothers from the same mother and father that grew up in the same group. And hell, sometimes I've even watched on the Discovery channels where they had a brother that had different mothers. And this, in this particular instance, it was a lion that the father made from a previous group of a uh, previous pride right because the prize uh the, the the anchor of the prize is actually the, the lionesses and so he went for one pride he made a uh, a lion cub and went to another pride and made a lion cub and the, the the cub that he made from that previous lion pride came to the new lion pride and he ganged up with the new brothers you see what i'm saying and they made a what's called the coalition you see and don't get me wrong there are loners within the animal the mammals animal co community right but these guys have a much 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 lower survival rate because think about it one motherfucker versus two three four five six seven eight other motherfuckers i mean you gonna get your ass killed you see what i'm saying that's just the bottom line and when you look at society, when you look at the human society, I mean, that's all this shit comes down to. When you look at all aspects of human society, when you look at communities, nations, families, when you look at gangs, when you look at, you know, the cartels, the mafia, even the ruling elite, all of this shit is. The, the, the people that rule the goddamn world on whatever level you want to look at, whether it's the, the global level or if you want to look at a local level with your local gangs or drug organization. All this shit is, is an organization composed of, of mostly men combining their intellectual, financial, physical, labor resources. That's all the shit is. When you get down to the nitty gritty, it's a big ass honey party. And the reason the government is able to stop these gangs and these, these uh, organized crime groups is because the government has more financial, intellectual, labor, physical resources than that damn group they have better weapons they have better trained people they have more intelligent people etc that's the only goddamn difference that's why they they win and defeat people every time and they have more people right that's the only reason 
they have all all of these things which make you better than the next person or the better than the next group the government just has more of it that's it and you know if we could talk about on a personal level as far as black men i mean you know you have so many black men that are unemployed you have so many black men that are that are uh homeless dude like you know some people can do it on their own you know what i'm saying i've done it on my own but most of us are failing because we're trying to go about this shit a way that just is not logical like even think about this even white men the men that have every possible opportunity to succeed in comparison to every other demographic on the planet they have the most opportunities the most help the most assistance everything going for them they have that more than any other demographic on the planet and these guys get things like roommates right they they get assistance from their parents and they have the the benefits of white privilege etc so why would a person that's on the bottom because you know keep it real black men i mean let's just be honest here as far as socioeconomics as far as the ranking system or the hierarchy and the white supremacist global system of white supremacy we are at the bottom in terms of assistance and all of these different things even black women right even black women and hispanic men get more help and assistance hell even you know if you want to be real even african immigrants get more handouts and things of that nature than black men in america right so why would the person that's on the absolute bottom ignore and deny the most effective ways to go about shit why why do black men create sole proprietorships right the most ineffective business uh the most ineffective this type of business that you can start a goddamn sole proprietorship you know and every time and now that i think about it, every goddamn time i see a white person creating a business it's normally a partnership of two a lot of times three or four goddamn people and listen this is not going to guarantee that your success but it's just going to give you a higher percentage of success it is the most effective ways to do to 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 do things right and it's ridiculous man like black men you you shouldn't even be thinking about starting a damn business unless you have at least one partner and really what you should be doing is you should be getting about a total of about four brothers that have different areas of expertise that you have relationships with that you trust and you should be constantly working and and, and putting in their ear and influencing them to go into business with you and you, you, the biggest thing is you need to create that trust that group accountability make sure that everyone knows the role that they're going to play right don't have two people trying to play quarterback you want one quarterback one wide receiver one running back and motherfucker that's gonna gonna play on the line all right put everybody into that position based on their expertise and let them do the business and 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 and, and focus on that area and to work together as a team right have that complementary relationship this is what we should be f- pushing our boys and our men to doing not sinking your hard-earned money into a business model that has the highest failure rate out of all business models out of you know corporation llc whatever if you don't have employees and if you don't have um 
or at least contractors and if you don't have at least two people you're going to lose most likely because you don't have all of those resources you don't you, you have very little intellectual resources there's things that other people can think of or that can save you from that you may not be able to think of as one person you you're, you're multiplying your labor you see there's only so much you can do as one person and so these are the things we need to be focusing on these are the things that we need to be focusing on as black men we need to be focusing on goddamn hunting parties strategic alliances business partnerships coalitions every other group of people in the world are using this for empowerment except for us every other group of people in the world hell even black women are better at this than us i don't know how did i don't know i don't understand how black men got to this level of this ultra individualistic bullshit and and i will tell you 100 percent. i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i'm a straight up loner like this shit is I, out of any people that i know this shit the individualistic shit and being by myself and all that stuff that comes easiest to me i actually have to force and push myself to be a team player and to work with others and stuff not not that it's hard for me to work with others and things of that nature but it's just I, you know i'm a capricorn and we have a mindset of on some loner shit like we are the, the loners of the zodiac you feel me and we would rather just do the shit ourselves a lot of times but i understand and i acknowledge on a conscious level that this is the hardest way and the least effective way to be successful in life it just is i mean you can't really you can't really tell me people that are successful that are like like really straight up loners that that are more successful than people that are able to establish groups and coalitions and things of that nature you can't i mean even if there are there's always outliers in every group right but if you side by side comparison the success level of a guy that's a loner that has a one person business operation and you compare that to corporations partnerships and things of that nature the the latter is going to win like it's probably you know it's probably 80 20 like 80 percent are composed of people that do work with other people you see and that that's i mean at the end of the day that's what the human experience is about it's about bonding and connecting with other humans right that's one of the things that the human experience is about but we need to get out of this individualistic mindset i know this shit is hard man listen i know this shit is hard you're talking to someone who prefers to be a um a loner to do things myself but i've learned that that is the least effective way so for the past couple years i've been pushing and pushing myself to get into this mindset you see because every other group has the mindset of we're going to combine our group and we're going to we're going to create a team of our group within our group to compete with other groups and we have to have the same damn mindset you see this is one of the issues with with black men in america in america specifically descendants of slaves is that we want to have this individualistic mindset and we have so many matriarchal males right we have so many damn matriarchal males that take on this mindset and that's the main thing right most most of it comes from a matriarchal males these these most matriarchal males have been taught by the matriarch of their families not to trust men not to trust other black men 
Like that's why you see these dudes that are, that are around nothing but women. And I mean, listen, this is the main group of men that are like this. But understand, there are men who who aren't from matriarchal households that have the same damn mindset, but they're smaller in number. I have come across men that were raised by two parents, that that was raised by a masculine father, that you know for whatever reason they just don't get along with men. Like these dudes, you know, can get down with with sisters and women of different races all day and have fun but when it comes to other men man it's like a constant goddamn arguing the bigger bickering like it's always somehow it always come to blows and, and ended up getting into fights with other goddamn men right and that's an issue with it's all comes down to parenting it's an issue with parenting and these and these are some older men that i'm goddamn talk about my guys that's 50 and 60 years old because they were never taught even back then for whatever reason you know what i mean i, I can't really go back in and look at their childhood but for whatever reason they were not taught how to get along with other men and this is the key to our empowerment as black men is combining our efforts all of our different resources I've, I've named it a bunch of times intellectual physical labor financial all of those resources where we can create and combine those with other men you know two three four five six plus men dude that's when your shit really starts to take off that's when you really start to see a powerful movement that's when you really start to see momentum as far as your success in society, you see, even, and that's why, even when you talk about businesses, that's why businesses like corporations are considered other, uh, they're considered a different entity, a separate entity than the owner of the ownership is because you have those combined resources from all these different people and it creates a different entity within itself. You see? So this is the fault. This is one of the key, the biggest keys to our empowerment. If we could create genuine relationships with each other and whatever we do, you know, like the animals, like the other groups of goddamn men around the world, we can combine all these resources instead of scraping and struggling as individuals like most black men are doing. This is when we will see This is when we will see the momentum shift in our favor. Period. So that's it. That's all I got for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. Stop being a goddamn regular individual. Stop using friendships and family just to socialize and eat, nigga, and to play video games. Start using those same goddamn friends. To, to invest with you in different businesses and things that, and different investments and things of that nature. If the niggas not down for that shit, you know, give them give them some time to digest and to try to build it. But if, if, if cats aren't down for it, then hey, it, it's your decision. You know, I will probably stop dealing with them because I don't want to deal with brothers and sisters that saw some serious empowerment shit. Like I don't want to just deal with you just for entertainment and socializing. You know, it's up to you, but I'll probably stop dealing with them. Peace.